because I know someone out there feels like I do because I felt very alone, very alone. And I didn't think anyone understood me. And hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is so good to be back and be filming again because I have missed it for so long. Today I am going to finally be doing my long overdue. I asked my Instagram followers in like May what makeup I should use and I gave you guys two choices and I picked between one or the other or you guys picked between one or the other and yeah and I came up with this makeup look. So this was a very fun video for me to make. I'm so glad I did it. I was been like thinking about making a video for days so I was so excited I finally sat down and actually filmed this video. I did talk about why I was gone a little bit in the video. I talked a lot about my anxiety I have and I hope it helps you so if you'd like to see how I got this look get a little pep talk from me then please keep watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and yeah let's get to the video okay so we're gonna start off with the first product that I use which is I always do my eyebrows first so I had two options for you guys of course everything's gonna have two options and it was the L'Oreal brow stylist definer or the it cosmetics brow power and uh, 72% picked the L'Oreal Brow Stylist to do my eyebrows. And I'm so glad you guys picked this because I absolutely love this brow pencil. Like, the only thing I hate about it is I go through it so fast. Other than that, like, it gives me my perfect brow. I, like, started using other brow products that we were getting from, like, BoxyCharm, so I kind of forgot about it. And I didn't use it for so long because I ran out of it and didn't want to go buy it. But when I did, I realized how much I freaking love it. So, let's start off by doing our breath. It has been so long, like two months since I sat in front of a camera and filmed the video. It's just been a crazy two months and I'm so happy to be like sitting down and filming again because I've been wanting to do it for so long and I want to like change things up on my channel and just try to be more motivational and I'm just trying to be more of me and more of who I really am and not so much just focus on makeup and crafts and I want to be doing a lot more crafts because I know a lot of my followers like my crafts so I want to be doing a lot more than that but I definitely wanted to get this video up because I made this poll on Instagram like in May and <laughs> it's July so I just love this brow pencil. Do you see how like precise it is and just it's so much easier. I felt like when I was using the other ones that are like super thick, like I couldn't be real precise and my brows just kind of like weren't on top of their game. Whereas with this, I'm more on top of my game and I can like it better. We are going to move on to eyes. I'm going to use an eyeshadow palette. So I actually just totally prepped my eyes with concealer. And then I had you guys choose an eyeshadow primer. And I already put powder on my eyes. So I'm not going to use the eyeshadow primer. And I'm just going to go straight into the eyes. I'm sorry. Like I completely forgot. Because I never use eyeshadow primer. It's like very rare. Okay. So I had you choose between a eyeshadow palette. I had you choose between the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. Or the ColourPop Element of Surprise. And the Too Faced Chocolate Gold one by 56%. So I'm going to use this palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to start off with Rollin' in Dough.
I am going to put eyeliner on now. And so for the liquid eyeliner, you have the choice between the Physicians Formula Lash Boost Eyeliner or the Tardiest Tarte Double Ended Eyeliner. And both of the choices were 50%, 50%. Because of that, I was just like, I'm gonna use the eyeliner I wanna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Tardiest Tarte Eyeliner because this is just what I've been using. Now we are going to move on to primer. So my face is gonna be real shiny and it's like 115 degrees outside. So for primer, I had you guys choose the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer and the Becca First Light Priming Filter. And you guys chose the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer, which I'm almost out of. We're gonna use this primer. Gonna be super glowy and moisturizing today. So next, we are going to move on to foundation. I gave you the choice between the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation and the NARS Natural Radiant. 65% of you chose the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. So that is what I'm going to be using today. This is like I've gotten like a tan, real good tan, because I've been out in the sun a lot lately, and this is like the perfect match for my tan. This foundation just smells so good. Alright, foundation done. As you can see, this is a matte foundation, but that face oil I used and the super hydrating primer totally making me very shiny so hopefully the powder will mattify us out a little bit because i'm super shiny okay now on to concealer i gave you the choice between the stila aqua glow concealer or the nyx studio photo hd photogenic concealer and of course you must all know that i love the nyx studio photogenic concealer because that is what you chose 67 percent said that one that's what we gonna be using and this is my all-time favorite concealer i will never use another concealer every time i try any other concealer i hate it I hate it the only thing that sucks about this product like my two most favorite products are my l'oreal brow stylist and this concealer like these are my ride or die products i've bought in so many bottles of this concealer because it runs out so fast like that's the only problem i have with it so how's everybody's summer been going mine has been going okay i i think in my previous video i talked about how i have anxiety and i struggle with it i thought i was doing good i struggled really badly with my anxiety and basically just by god's grace <laughs> he's given me such peace that i can't imagine like sometimes i still get a little anxious about things when i think about certain things that i fear i want to break down to what anxiety is anxiety is like fear and so when you think of something that you fear of your heart starts racing and you are just scared because you're thinking about what you're fearing and you're telling yourself these lies in your head and you're telling yourself oh i can't do this or no this is not gonna be done you like have this huge fear and your heart starts racing um sometimes they can lead to like panic attacks i feel like the lie that so many people tell themselves they like feel like they never can get out of it and i'm just gonna be straight up like it's hard it's hard to have anxiety and it's hard to have mind over matter it's so hard and so many people can tell you oh you just need to be stronger than that you can have mind over matter like no trust me i know like i know it's very hard but the fact is when you understand like the bottom line okay you have anxiety because you fear this you don't want this to happen you you're repeating this story in your head and you're telling yourself a lie no matter what it is you're telling yourself a lie over and over and over again and you think you can't do it but ultimately although whatever situation it is yeah it may be uncomfortable and yeah it may not be ideal but you're gonna get through it you are and you tell yourself you can't because the previous situations or something like that but the thing is in those previous situations although so horrible you felt horrible and everything was going wrong you still got through it you're still here today you're here today you can smile sometimes like you got through it and like i think ultimately like what's the worst the ultimate fear of everybody i think is dying once you can just get over that fear and just say you know yeah this sucks this is a bad situation i don't want to be in it i don't want to be in this situation it's not fun i don't enjoy it i don't like how i feel i don't like any of this no i can't do it i can't do it you can't it's a lie don't tell yourself that lie believe that you can because you can you can even though it's uncomfortable you can totally do it and trust me i know i know like i still struggle like if my fear happens and i have to deal with that fear 
like I'm still my heart is still racing and I'm still anxious but I feel like the last time something did happen like God gave me God loves us so much it's so crazy because God gave me the freedom and the peace that like all my friends my Christian friends my sisters in Christ would tell me that God gives you and that he will have you and I'd be like why don't I have this peace why don't I have this freedom like I am a Christian I believe God I believe in Jesus I believe he died for me I believe all these things and I have faith in him but yet I was still doubting still doubting and still having anxiety and I just didn't understand it and ultimately I lacked faith and I tried to tell myself I had faith but I didn't I lacked faith and when I completely submitted to God and stopped trying to take control of a situation because that's my hugest problem is I have control issues when I stopped trying to take control of the situation and really just gave it to God he gave me that peace and telling myself the truth telling myself the truth like even though it's gonna be uncomfortable I'm gonna get through it it's not gonna last long it's I'm gonna get through it it's gonna be okay and I feel like that was my ultimate like breakthrough and if my fear happens again I'll probably get a little anxious and I don't think that it will take me where I thought it would before and I guess I just wanted to share that story because it's been really heavy on my heart and I feel like I want to make videos yeah I like makeup and crafts and stuff and that's what I want to do but ultimately I want to make videos that are gonna mean something to someone because I know someone out there feels like I do because I felt very alone very alone and I didn't think anyone understood me and many people probably don't still but that's okay because I know I'm not alone and God is here with me and ultimately you must submit to him first and give everything to him if you have faith you must submit you can't be like oh I'm gonna give this to you God but I'm gonna do this just in case this happens like no you can't you can't do that you have to have faith you have to give it all and that was probably one of the hardest things I struggled with and I'm probably still going to struggle with it. But I know if I just keep telling myself the truth, keep repeating, keep being around sisters in Christ and keep being around people that love me and care for me and pray for me, I know it's going to be okay. So that was just my little encouragement that I have for you. And I hope that I help you one day. I hope that you hear it and you don't feel alone and know you are not alone and that there is another side and there is happiness. And you can go through a lot, but the thing is, is you think you can't do it or it's so horrible and so bad, but you can do it. And it's just makes you, making you stronger. Um, it's just putting you in situations you don't like, but ultimately that's working on your heart. It's making you stronger and you don't even know it. Of course, nobody wants to be uncomfortable, but I would say being comfortable your whole entire life you will never succeed or never, you will never grow. And being uncomfortable and in discomfort is part of your journey and it's a part of growing. And I've learned that. So I hope I shed some light on that and I helped you a little bit. On to makeup. So next I'm going to use a setting powder. See how low this concealer, it doesn't even crease. <laughs> but the setting powder I told you to choose from was the Stellar Face Powder or the Tarte Smooth Operator. And 60% of you chose the Tarte smooth operator which i don't even know if this like powder like does flashback because it's so white it's like okay but i feel like my makeup doesn't last as long get under those eyes and let's bite next we are going to move on to bronzer so i had you choose between the hula benefit bronzer or the Too faced chocolate soy soleil soleil bond soleil i think it's soleil bronzer and 60 percent of you chose the hula bronzer so we're going to use this on all two i absolutely love putting bronzer on i think it's like one of my most favorite things about makeup like i used to just love eyeshadow which of course i still do i love eyeshadow but for my face I love bronzer. I feel like it changes your whole entire look. Like it gives you life. I keep trying to convince my mom to put bronzer on because I feel like it would just give her life like because she's so pale. I like this bronzer because I can use it to like contour my nose too. And like usually with my other bronzers, I don't like to use it to like contour my nose. So I'm gonna contour my nose. I feel like I have to contour my nose like I feel like I cannot go without contouring my nose so now I'm gonna kind of like brush the bake away and blend it into like my contour and the rest of my face so it kind of like blends together I don't like this like baking with this too much because it like will like stain kind of like white underneath my eyes 
I really gotta like blend it in. Like normally I can just like wipe away my powder. And clearly this gives you flashback. I mean, look at how white my under eyes are. Like, so yeah, you don't like flashback and you don't wanna look like your face is all freaking white. Don't use this powder. Let's move on to, you know what? Let's do the under eyes. Let's go back and do the under eyes and finish the eyes off. I'm going to go back in and take so bougie. Putting cocoa truffle underneath my eye too, just to kind of blend it out. So I'm gonna take this color right here, Lemon Lash, which is like this deep purple. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just taking like a huge brush and I'm kind of blending it. And then yeah, I use highlight. So we are going to find our highlight. So I gave you two drugstore highlights. I gave you the Maybelline Master Chrome highlight to choose from or the Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlight in Precious Petals. And 61% of you said the Wet n Wild Mega Glow in Precious Petals. I freaking love this highlight. I have been using it like so much especially when i do like pink eyes like i feel like pink and then the pink highlight because like a rose gold highlight so i feel like my face is just so white <laughs> so for blush i gave you the choice between nars orgasm or the nyx or play it's like a baked blush and you guys chose 62 percent of you guys chose nars orgasm So now I'm gonna use setting spray. I totally had two setting sprays set out, which was the MAC Fix Plus and the Cover FX. And I didn't give you an option to choose. Going to use both of them. So I had the MAC Fix Plus and the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Like we are gonna be so freaking glowy. So um my MAC Fix Plus, this is MAC Fix Plus, but I absolutely hate my squirter on the MAC Fix Plus. Like, oh my gosh, I hated it so much. It would just like squirt in my face and it ruined my makeup. So when I finished my Mario Badesco spray, I washed this out and I put my MAC Fix Plus in here. Let's do this. We let that melt into our face and we're gonna shake this. So we're going to spray this now. Yeah, there's just like glitter all over my face. I'm just like a glow machine today. <laughs> just glowing. Next is the eyebrow. So I gave you the choice between the Essence Make Me Brow, which is like my go-to every day, or the Anastasia Brow Gel. And you, 53% of you chose the Anastasia Brow Gel. Because you guys chose this one, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Next is mascara. So I had you choose between the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara or the Lancome Waterproof Grandiose, Grandiose Mascara. And you guys, 76% of you chose L'Oreal. So we are going to use my L'Oreal. Normally I put like primer on my eyes. This is gonna be like the first time I'm just going in with mascara, no primer. You, let's see what lipstick you guys choose. So I gave you the choice between the lipstick Huda Beauty um, Liquid Matte in Wifey or the Maybelline Matte Ink in Dreamer. And you guys chose the Huda Beauty Matte in Wifey for 58% of you guys chose that, which I'm so glad because the other one I just got, like that lipstick I just got, and when I put that on there, and so I wasn't sure like of the color, and it's like purple pink. It would have been way too much with this look. So, I'm gonna go in with that. I didn't put lip liner on there, I don't know why, but I'm gonna go in with lip liner. I'm gonna go in with my Jonte Blue lip liner in brown sugar. So I got eyelashes on. Now we're gonna move on to like gel eyeliner, which is, I usually put in my waterline. Not in this waterline, the above which you learned. So I gave you the options of the vintage eye pencil or the NYX gel crayon. And you guys chose, 74% of you chose the NYX gel crayon, which is good because this is like my favorite 
like there I have two favorites one is beauty for real and this is my second favorite okay, so let's put this on well, I don't like to do my lower waterline because my eyes water a lot and I'll just get and like it like closes my eyes more so we won't do that all right everyone so this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed this video I hope I gave you a good motivational pep talk about my anxiety and how I am battling through it and I hope it inspires you and I hope that I can use this channel that I have with all my 415 subscribers that I have to motivate you to give you confidence and to let you know that you're not alone in anything that you're going through and just because everything looks perfect on social media in most people's cases it's not and thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this look i had a fun time doing this instagram picks my makeup challenge and i would love to do more makeup challenges like that's like what i've been like contemplating on more ideas of what I want to do and so yeah if you would like to see different challenges from me let me know down in the comments below and I've missed you all and I've missed I know there are some subscribers that like watch my video like every single video like some of them I know there's like one girl out there Sydney I see you like I know you watch every single one of my videos and I love you thank you for that but yeah thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload and don't forget to follow me on all my social medias especially instagram because that's probably my favorite one and yeah so i will see you on my next video bye